guys. Well, I'm out in the shop today, and I had a conversation with uh, my buddies on Skype the other day. You know, when I first started machining uh, several years ago, I didn't have a real great understanding of machine or machinist terminology, I should say. And so, coming from an electronics background, you know, I'm dealing with, used to dealing with numbers um, like so. Uh, millihertz, kilohertz, that kind of terminology is what I'm particularly used to. Well, I can remember back in school learning our place value, uh, you know, our tens, hundreds, thousands, and then one tenth of one hundredth, one thousandth, one ten thousandth. And so that brought up millions. So it kind of gets confusing if you're not used to the terminology. So I had to kind of learn some of the machinist terminology as I went along and even today it gets confusing. Thus the conversation I had with my buddies on Skype. Well I pulled up this information and I found it to be quite interesting and it kind of puts everything into perspective. Uh, at least for me it did. What I was mainly getting confused on was millions, the term millions. And it seems that when we're expressing millions, we usually say 50 millions. Well, you can see one millionth here, but then one ten or ten millionths is here. So, 0 .000010 would be 10 millionths, but if we pull it out another zero, then it's a 1 millionth. So, over here, 1 millionth would be here, but 1 10 millionth is adding another zero. So, you can see how it kind of got confusing. However, I think I've got a handle on it now and how it's expressed in machinist terminology. Just like this is one tenth, but it's one ten thousandth. But in machinist terminology, it's one tenth of an inch. So if you're confused as I am about all this, uh, this was good information. But I, what I really found fascinating was how it compares with indicators. So here I have the first indicator I purchased, which was just a thousandth of an inch. And when I started off uh, several years ago and I start, started getting into machining, I thought, a thousandth of an inch. Man, that's so tiny. I'll never measure anything below a thousandth of an inch. So I really don't need anything much lower than that. Uh, I soon realized that that was not the case. So then I purchased a half a thousandths indicator and I soon realized that that was not giving me the resolution that I was looking for. So then I found a Federal Taskmaster that is one tenth of an inch. And this has worked really, really well. So then I picked up this indicator, which is about 2 microns, 0 .002 millimeters, which is about 78 millionths. So how big is a micron? Well, that's where I kind of got confused. And when I found this information on the internet, it kind of put it all into perspective. So page 2 was how big is a micron? Well, you can see that this outside circle here is representing a human hair, or about three and a half thousandths of an inch. Over here is a thousandths of an inch. So that's what this gauge measures, about a thousandths of an inch. Which, in comparison to a human hair, is, is quite a bit smaller. Then my federal 
test master, which is a tenth of an inch, is represented right here in comparison to even a thousandth of an inch. You can see how much smaller that is. It's ten times smaller than that. And then here we have one micron or 0 .001 millimeter. So you can see how fine a resolution we're starting to get with these indicators. Now how does that translate when you're working with your machinery? Well, with this indicator here, I can measure a thousandths of an inch. So, now maybe I should move the block. Okay. So you can see that this block is on a zero, 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 and zero. So if this is all you have to work with, and this is all the finest resolution that you're measuring with, a thousandth of an inch, well then all seems well with these one, two, three blocks. Now if we want to get a finer resolution and actually measure it with something that has a lot more resolution to it, say this particular indicator. Okay, now this is two microns, so we're looking at the resolution double this right here. I got this thing zoomed in. So we're looking at two times this versus this. So you can see it's a much finer resolution. And so when we start taking our measurements, uh, this is what we're going to come up with. All right. See the difference? These two blocks with the higher resolution indicator, the two micron indicator, we're able to pick that up. And you can see even this one's, all three of these are different. Now how much difference is that between here, zero, and here? So you can see we're able to get a whole lot better resolution with the finer instruments. It wasn't able to pick that up on my old one thou dial indicator. Um, you just couldn't see it. However, with my finest indicator, you can clearly see the difference here. Now, this is why I purchased several of these one, two, three blocks and I checked them all because I wanted to make sure that I got matching set to do all my checks with. Well guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hopefully, this video will help you get a better understanding of what kind of dimensions and tolerances we're really talking about when we start working with these uh, finer in indicators. Uh, you can see how the resolution changes. It's just like uh, by using a smaller or finer indicator, it's just like blowing up everything and magnifying it. And you can just see the slightest inconsistencies between pieces. I know this video is not probably for everyone. Some of this ter terminology may be new to you as it was to me. So hopefully... Uh, this information will help you. Thanks guys for watching the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment. Thumbs up if you like the video. And most importantly, be safe.